You are about to experience the Jersey Jaguar YouTube channel, the greatest YouTube channel in all of history when it comes to your Jacksonville Jaguars. In order to become a subscriber to this channel, if you haven't done so already, you only need to fit three criteria. First, you must love the Jacksonville Jaguars. Second, you must hate, better yet even despise, the Tennessee Titans. And third, and most importantly, you must know in your heart with everything you have that Shad Khan is a complete and total buffoon. If you fit those three criteria, hit that subscribe button. Join me on this YouTube journey, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Sit back, relax, and listen to the best Jaguar insight on the YouTube platform. You know, I've done a lot of videos here on YouTube over the last year plus, but I have a feeling that this video that you are about to experience is probably the most unique video that I've ever done. It's a very special video, and that is because for the first time, I actually have a guest on my channel. And it's a very special guest, one that uh, I think a lot of you out there will appreciate. Jags fans, I had to pull a lot of strings, had to make the right calls, okay? Be on the be on the know, be on the inside a little bit. But I got it done. It's here. It's happening. Jaguars general manager, Trent Baalke, is here and I'm gonna interview him. I'm gonna ask him the hard questions that us fans wanna know. He's probably gonna do his best to dance around those questions and avoid them at all costs. Um, like the Trent we all know and love, but he's here. I'm gonna interview him and we are gonna get some answers that us Jaguar fans deserve. Trent, it's great to have you here, my friend. You look good. I, I bet you're excited about the draft and everything that's coming up. Um, you don't mind me asking, Trent, um, are, is that a Josh Lambeau jersey that you're wearing? Well, you know, Jersey Jaguar, I'm just really excited to be on your channel. I really appreciate you having me on here. Um, I hope that you don't mind. Um, I did bring Shad. Shad is here. Um, he's going to be my silent partner uh, for this interview process, but... Uh, when Shad knew that I had the chance to come here and talk to you, um, he really wanted to be a part of that. Um, so Shad is here um, to be my silent partner, as I stated before. In all of his glory, Shad is here. And yes, this is a Josh Lambeau jersey. Um, any player that can take part and assisting the firing of a head coach is the kind of player that I admire greatly. Well, uh, I didn't know Shad was coming, but I'm glad Shad's here. Um, even though he's going to be your silent partner, um, I think it's appropriate that he actually sits in, at least for the grilling um, that I am prepared to give you. All right, Trent. So three questions for you in this interview. Three, three very important questions that I have for you, my friend. The first of those questions, I have to know, okay? You are, a, a, for as much hate as you get, you are here and all your glory. You are still the general manager of the Jaguars. You survived the fire balky movement. How did you do it? I have to know. The people have to know. The fire balky was a thing. Clown movement, the clown game, that, that girl on the Titan Tron, okay, at halftime, who answered D, Fire Balky, okay, all that stuff. You survived it. You're here. You're going to make the pick. I mean, the draft is next week, okay, and you, you're still employed. How did you do it? How did you survive the Fire Balky movement? Well, you know, Jersey, um, for the answer to your question, again, um, you really don't need to look much farther um, than this beautiful smiling face uh, that you see before you here um, and our owner shot God. He came to me. <coughs> Excuse me. It's very hard to talk like this. 
he came to me and he said, listen, Trent, he said, I hate our fans, okay? I hate them with a dying passion. And if I hate the fans, and if I don't even consider at all or care what the fans think, how they feel, I don't see any reason why you should care how the fans think or feel or what they even say. Um, when the whole fire balky movement thing came about, um, Shad, he said to me, listen, your job is safe. I believe in you. Again, I hate the fans. We lose, but they give me money anyway. So it really doesn't matter what they think. Um, and that's really how I was able to um, keep that confidence that uh, I was not going to be defeated uh, by a bunch of people on Twitter. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I uh, always kind of figured that was the case, but, you know, nice to hear it directly from your mouth. All right, Trent. <sighs> Got another question for you, my friend. Question number two. You, uh... I'm not trying to get personal, Trent. I'm not trying to, you know, jab you too much. I'm not trying to start a fight or anything. But you do seem to have a little bit of a history with. How do I put this? Um, you're a snake. You're a backstabbing snake. Okay. Um, throughout your whole. Tenure in the NFL. I'm not just talking about here. Between the head coaches that you have may or may not have caused to lose their jobs. Okay. It's just the disarray that's been rumored to come out between the Byron Leftwich situation and just everything. It seems everything you touch is just... Chaos, backstabbing, lying, cheating, all of the above. All of the above. What is going to make Doug Peterson any different? I have to know. Oh, what? Me, a bad reputation in the NFL? Me being a snake? I don't know what you're talking about. Tell him, Shot. Tell him how good of a reputation I have. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what I'm saying. He don't know what you're talking about either. Jeez, I'm sitting here sweating listening to that. I'm so piping hot and mad. Man, how could you say that about me? Let me tell you, Trent Baalke is the most easygoing, lovable guy you'd ever, you'd ever know. Okay, and I'm going to lead this football team to great heights. Okay. And as far as the previous coaches that I've worked with in the past. All right, I'll come clean a little bit. But Jim Harbaugh had it coming. All right, he had it coming for a long time. And you want to talk about a snake? A big time snake? Urban Meyer was a big time snake. Okay, he made me look bad. Okay, he made, he made me look like a little gardener snake. All right, he's an anaconda compared to me. All right, you're saying Trent Baalke's a snake. He's a snake, not me. <coughs> and uh answer your question about Doug Peterson. Listen, the answer is simple with Doug Peterson. He promised me hug and dice. Okay? And with a voice like mine, it really works upon the throat, okay? Talking like this day in and day out. You think I want to talk like this? I don't. I don't. I don't have a choice. Smoking three packs a day for 40 years, that's what brought me to this. But Doug Peterson's haagen it cools the throat. It makes it a little better. And I'm not just talking Saturday nights like the players get. I'm talking Monday to Sunday, baby. Every night, Trent Baalke's sitting there, feet up on the desk, a hugging dust in his hand. 
That is a Trent Bauke promise that Doug Peterson's back will never be stabbed because of the Hagen Doss. <sighs> well, Jags fans, there you have it. The fate of this organization is dependent on Hagen Doss ice cream. You heard it here first. You know, uh, just a quick side note before we move on in this interview. Last question. Um, so we're talking about relationships. The relationship between the two of you seems to remind me of... Uh, you ever watch Disney movies? Trent, you, you big Disney guy. You ever seen Aladdin? You know, uh, Jafar and the Sultan? The relationship dynamic that's going on there? That, that's kind of what I'm seeing there. I'm just going to throw that out there to you. Take it as you will. Last question for you, Trent. And then I'm going to get you out of here because talking to you is just exhausting. The draft is just in a few days. It's actually within a week from now. I got to know, man, what are you doing with the first overall pick? A lot of Jaguar fans, they want Aiden Hutchinson, Evan Neal, okay? There's a lot of rumors that you are going to go for Trayvon Walker. Um, me personally, I don't like that. A lot of Jaguar fans aren't really crazy about that. We got to know your mindset, Trent. It's a week out before one of the biggest nights in this franchise's, franchise's history. We got to know what your mindset is before the draft. Well, you know, Jersey, that's actually really funny that you bring up um, about Disney movies. Because Shot over here, um, he really likes Dumbo. Um, Dumbo is his favorite Disney movie for sure. Um, at least that's the one that's usually playing in his office. Now, uh, typically, what we've been doing, and I don't really like to talk about this, um, put it out in the public for people to see, but since I like you so much, I don't really care about the fans, but I like you. So I'll tell you. Um, I don't really watch a lot of film. Okay, my uh, preparation for draft day um, is basically just Shad and I watching Disney movies. Um, like I said, he likes Dumbo. Okay, I'm more of a Peter Pan type of guy uh, myself. I haven't really seen Aladdin, um, but now that you mention it, um, after I'm done with this interview... I think that's what Shad and I are going to go watch. Um, and hey, if I see the comparison, I'll call you. I'll let you know what I think about it. Um, but to be honest, the whole Trayvon Walker thing, whatever his name is, I don't even really know who that is, to be perfectly honest with you. When it comes down to draft day, Jersey, typically what I do, I just Google names, Google players, and then I just have one of my scouts write down the card. Um, we usually pick a name out of a hat. I'll pick the name out and I'll tell my I'll tell my guy, hey, go take the card up or whatever. And I don't even know how the process works, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, Shotgun has already promised. I guess I'm breaking more news here. Doesn't really matter, Jersey who I take at one next week because shot over here this beautiful gorgeous man has already promised me a multi-year deal where I'll never have to work again ever in my life so really screw the fans screw you and screw the Jaguars okay that's uh, uh, enough enough this interview's over I can't take any more. Jags fans, what did we learn from this? We learned that haagen ice cream and Disney movies are the foundation or the very core of the direction that this organization is taking. Um, I can't do this anymore. Trent, thanks for coming over, man. Thanks for doing this interview with me. Um, I guess we could do this again sometime soon. Depends on how the people enjoyed this i guess that the people want to hear more from you um i'll have my guy call your guy uh, and i guess we'll fly you up to jersey again and we'll have you in for another interview thanks for coming on trent and 
Good luck with the draft, I guess. Catch up on your Disney movies. Monsters, Inc. is a pretty good one. I guess maybe check that one out. I don't know. All right, Jags fans. If you enjoyed this, whatever this was, let me know down in the comments. If you have any questions that you would like me to ask Trent Balky, if I were to have him on my channel again, write that down in the comments as well. Hit the like button if you're super excited for the draft. Go Jags. Well, look at you. You made it through the entire video. I appreciate that. Since you've made it this far, you might as well go ahead and share this video with every Jaguar fan that you know. Really helps the channel grow, and hey, us Jaguar fans gotta stick together. Duval!